Yeah, so I do. I love Snapchat right now. And I love Snapchat for my own reasons, right? Like everybody, there's like the Snapchat craze going on and everyone's like, ooh, Snapchat. And then I go and I, I look at their snaps and I'm like very disappointed. Um, and I'm, I'm disappointed and it's, I'm, I'm mostly disappointed because, you know, when you do that thing where it says add to story, you know, the word story means tell a story. I'm here with Aaron. And sweet potato fries. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so I love telling stories and I love letting people into my world in this, um, with the, the medium of video, right? Like to me, video is the, like the best way for me to tell a story. I can incorporate music. I can, inc there's visuals. I mean, there's more touch points. There's more senses that I'm able to, to penetrate. So with, with uh, Snapchat, I just tell a story. Now, I also have watched a lot of vlogs, like I've studied really good storytellers, so I know some of the components of a good story. I know how to create conflict. And to be honest, we all have conflict every day. We all have something that happens every day that we can share that would be interesting. I think that the thing that's the disconnect between most consumers, they, maybe they don't see it. Maybe they think, well, I don't live in a city like he does, or I don't travel like he does, but that doesn't mean you can't tell a story, you know? Like, you can tell a story with anything. Like, I mean, I, I've done stories on cooking, you know? I've done like full-on recipes on how I make baked ziti on Snapchat. <laughs> and uh, and I, I love cooking, so like, again, but cooking is another type of story. Um, with, with Snapchat, though, I follow the Ford analogy, which is family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. So if, as long as, and that's what you can expect by following me on Snapchat, it's just Aaron Pearson, you will see family, occupation, recreation, dreams. That Ford analogy is really important to me because it gives people a glimpse into my world. So how does that help me build my personal brand? Well, first of all, it lets people know that I'm really active, uh, that I don't just sit around or what, I'm not, I am who I say I am, okay? Like, I'm out there, I'm dealing with clients, uh, we're, we're solving problems, but at the same time, I'm a family man, I'm married, I have two children, um, I go to the gym, not as much as I should, but that's kind of an ongoing funny thing on my Snapchat. Uh, the other thing that's like an ongoing funny thing on my Snapchat is like how many times I go to the grocery store. Like I go to the grocery store every day, sometimes twice a day. And you would think that we would have a grocery list compiled where I, we can only go once a week. No, there's something with two kids, something always comes up. So there's like some ongoing stuff and, um, you know, I've been getting a lot of snapbacks about my hair because, like, I've been doing this thing with my hair where I do the, where I do the emoticons. But so Snapchat, I think, is amazing. The thing I don't like about it, really quick, is that you, it's not easy to get discovered. You have to leverage other social media platforms to get discovered on Snapchat because there's no like, hey, watch this guy or hey, check this person out. It's like you can add them from their Snap code, which you would get from another platform, or you can do it from a phone number. I mean, there's just, you're not discoverable yet. So I think Snapchat's really good for like content creators that have somewhat of an audience or following. Yeah, because if not, you're just gonna kind of be a lurker or you're just sharing it with your friends and family, which is okay too. Uh, but I've definitely used it to show my clients and potential clients and other colleagues uh, like what I'm up to and behind the scenes. And behind the scenes content is great. I mean, I can create behind the scenes content for days. Megan's doing a live stream. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I, was, I wasn't trying to interrupt your live stream. So Snapchat's really exciting to me because my favorite medium is video. It allows me to do that. I don't have to spend hours editing it. I can tell a story every day. Yeah, people just, they, they like to see the real personality behind who you are.